day is all about comic relief. And loads of you will be doing some pretty silly things and wearing red noses to help raise money for people here and abroad. But this time around, things are a bit different. It could be up to you where that cash is spent. Ricky's got everything you need to know. Loads of you will be raising money for comic relief, but where do you think the money should go? This year, for the first time, they're letting the kids decide who it should be helping. They helped me stop taking drugs. These guys are deciding which of three different ways the money they raise could help kids in Africa who can't get to school. All with a bit of help from Radio 1's Reggie. The three options are as follows. Basically, there's uh, people that definitely need to help their families. Um, I think that's without a doubt a really important one because it seems as though in Africa there's a lot of children that are working to help their families as well as that. Uh, there's children that are homeless as well, uh, that don't have anywhere decent enough to live and uh, people who are too poor uh, to help their families or to help themselves. So those three options. So what did you guys think about this idea to decide where the money goes? Yeah, I think it's really good because we're sort of on the same wavelength as some of those children. So we know what they might really want. Has this actually helped you to find out where the money that you're giving is actually going? Sometimes when you give money to charity, you don't know where it's going to go. It might not even go into where they say it will be. But with this, we know exactly where it's going because we've read all about it and heard all about it. So these kids decided to help children who have to care for their families, which means they can't go to school. And if your school is doing something for Comic Relief this year, you too can decide how the money is used. Just head to the Newsround website for all the details. That is it for now. Join Newsround back tomorrow morning at 7 o'clock in the morning. See you later.